Okay, so Mr. Taylor is very uh, lively. Um, the guy can talk for England, I'd say. I think we laugh at how corny his jokes were. Although I don't know how he'd feel about that, hearing that, but okay, it's, it's been said now. <laughs> Uh, I was doing some coursework with him on the New Deal. He produced this out, you know, it's outstanding uh, response. And I thought he's very good. And from then on, I really said to him, listen, if you work hard, you know, you can get to Oxford if that's what you want to do. Here we are now, it's just a bit crazy, our time flies. I distinctly remember a conversation we had saying, like, he doesn't care, you know, if you're black, if you're white, if you're purple, if you're poor, if you're rich, um, you know, like, if you are good enough and if you can thrive in this place, he wants to get you in there. And he was actually really you know, quite shy uh, to start with. It was a bit weird because he would like one week tell me to read out like a history and I would like stammer through it in front of the class, which is so like embarrassing. And then the next week he'd ask me to do it again. Increasingly you'd, you'd sort of brought him in and teased him in a bit and he would then volunteer answers and increasingly then began to volunteer first answers. But yeah, he's very much has given me that desire to go further and to think that the measure of something's worth is not what you get by it but what you become by it. I'm going to quote Mr Taylor again. When he does say something, although it might not appear like students may have responded as he'd like, I think it does stick in their hands. He's quite a trailblazer roof for him and I don't think he'll ever, you know, he's a strong personality. Um, I think it was more important just that we said, listen, you know, you're good enough, you're good enough. If Mr Taylor wasn't around, I don't know, I don't know what would have happened. Um, I'd like to think I would have been okay, um, but I really don't know. But it was really nice to have been nominated, and to have been nominated by Ephraim in particular was fantastic, because he is, you know, he's a considered opinion, and I like that. And also the fact that he was just such, you know, a force for good, as I said. What would you want to say to Mr Taylor? Um, can I look at the camera? Nah. Yeah, go on. <laughs> um, thank you for encouraging me to apply for all your help and belief in me and helping me to help myself, Mr. Taylor. 